Welcome to Reading English Aloud. This is Reading English Aloud practice. Just say no to junk food. New vocabulary words. Nouns. Number one, withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms. Mood swing. Mood swing. Number three, craving. Craving. Number four, manufacturer. Manufacturer. Number five, doctoral candidate. Doctoral candidate. Number one, withdrawal symptoms. Unpleasant physical feelings when you stop taking an addictive drug or substance. Mood swing. A sudden change of mood or feelings that is difficult to explain. Number three, craving. A powerful desire for something. Number four, manufacturer. A person or company that makes goods for sale. And number five, doctoral candidate. A person studying to get the highest degree awarded by a university. New vocabulary words, verbs. Resume, resume. Number two, hardwire, hardwire. Number three, maximize, maximize. Number four, regulate, regulate. Number five, trigger, trigger. Number one, resume. Begin again or continue after a pause or interruption. Number two, hardwire. Make a pattern of behavior standard or instinctive. Number three, maximize. Make as large or great as possible. Make the best use of. Number four, regulate. Control. Number five, trigger. Trigger. Cause something to happen or exist. New vocabulary words. Adjectives. Number one. Intense, intense. Number two, irritable, irritable. Number three, addictive, addictive. Number four, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Number five, feel good, feel good. Number one, intense, of extreme force, degree, or strength. Number two, irritable, easily annoyed or frustrated. Number three, addictive, physically and mentally dependent on something. Number four, uncomfortable feeling slight pain or physical discomfort, feeling uneasy. Number five, feel good, a feeling of happiness and well-being. Just say no to junk food. Quitting junk food is not that easy. Researchers have found that 
junk food lovers may experience symptoms similar to drug withdrawal when they try to limit their consumption. A new study suggests that people trying to cut down on eating highly processed food experience the same physical and psychological symptoms as those trying to quit smoking cigarettes. These symptoms include mood swings, cravings, headaches, anxiety, and poor sleep. The study participants reported feeling intense symptoms between the second and fifth days after attempting to reduce junk food consumption. The lead study author, Erica Schult, who is a doctoral candidate in psychology at the University of Michigan, believes her study provides more support for the hypothesis that highly processed food may be addictive. When you eat food, healthy or otherwise, your brain releases feel-good chemicals, such as dopamine, in the reward system. Your brain interprets this as pleasure and is hardwired to seek out behaviors that release dopamine. Foods that are high in sugar and fat produce a far more pleasurable response in people than less processed foods. The manufacturers know this so junk food is scientifically engineered to maximize the pleasure centers in the brain. With the diet high in junk food, the brain starts to regulate the amount of dopamine it releases. This means we need to increase the amount of junk food we consume to feel the same effects. Salt has also been known to trigger the release of dopamine, so this is why we can't eat just one potato chip. The new study by Erica Schult raises awareness that people may become irritable or suffer headaches when cutting down on junk food. Knowing this can help an individual better prepare when trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Many people resume their old eating habits when uncomfortable symptoms occur. If they know what to expect, they could better prepare for this positive change. And these are my sources. Discussion questions. Number one, what junk food do you really, really like? Number two, are you concerned about your daily calorie intake when choosing something to eat? Number three, have you ever been on a diet? If so, how long did you stay on it? Number four, how can you change your lifestyle to eat less junk food? Number five, do you think fast food, soda, and sweets should be sold in school cafeterias? Just for fun, let's look at some food terms. Now these are terms you might see in a menu or terms you might see when you're
cooking uh, using an English recipe. A lot of these terms come from different languages, especially French, Italian, and in English, we, we like to borrow from other languages. First one, a la carte, a la carte. So that's a separately priced, uh, separately priced items from a menu, not as part of a set meal. Al dente, al dente, uh, cooked so it's tough when bitten, and that's usually when we're talking about pasta, any kind of pasta. Uh, Bain Marie. This is a container holding hot water into which a pan is placed for slow cooking. We also call it a water bath or double boiler. Baste. Baste. This means to pour juices or melted fat over meat or other food while cooking to keep it moist. Dress. Dress. To put oil, vinegar, salt, or other toppings on a salad or other food. So you can dress the salad. These are also technical terms. So you will also find these in cooking schools. Marinate. Marinate. The process of soaking foods in seasoned and acidic liquid before cooking for hours or days, adding flavor to the food. Okay, marinate. Mince. Mince. To finally divide food into uniform pieces, smaller than diced or chopped food prepared using a chef's knife or food processor. So you might have minced onion or minced garlic, and that's very finely chopped onion or garlic. Parboiling, parboiling. This is the process of adding foods to boiling waters, cooking until they are softened, then removing before they are fully cooked, usually to Partially cook an item, which will then be cooked another way. Okay, so you may start meat, cooking meat this way. You may parboil it and then uh, put it in the oven to finish it. All right, or potatoes. You could parboil potatoes and then maybe bake them in the oven later on. Render. Render. To cook the fat out of something, such as bacon. Steep. Steep. To allow dry ingredients to soak in a liquid um, until the liquid takes on its flavor. And we steep our tea. You allow your tea bag or your tea leaves to steep in hot water. And the last one, tempering, tempering, raising the temperature of a cold or room temperature ingredient by slowly adding hot or boiling liquid, often referring to eggs. Okay, um, I will also temper uh, ice cream before I eat it. That means just leaving it out at room temperature. Uh, before you, for a bit of time before you actually uh, serve it. And these are, this is my source where I got these, these terms. All right. Thank you for reading English aloud with me. The article is called Just Say No to Junk Food. That was easy.